Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 4th. Uh, this week I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But uh, let's see what we have going on for you, Taurus, this week. And... There we go. All right. Uh, so you start off with the Queen of Hearts here, Nine of Hearts, a wish. So I feel like some of you are kind of changing your uh, direction as far as some sort of dream or something that you want to accomplish in your life. Yeah, there's some sort of change here is what I would say. Uh, just after looking at all this here, I feel like some of you need to change the direction. It's like maybe you have a certain goal, but maybe there's just an easier way to get there. I feel like ease uh, because you have the Six of Hearts. Uh, I don't use positions. I don't use, uh, like, you know, most tarot readers use a spread. I just read intuitively. But you do have the six of hearts in the ch what would be the challenge position. I don't think it's a challenge, though. I put it down. I, 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 it was like, you know, there's. I kept getting that there's something easier. So uh, I feel like there could be an easier solution to something that you're trying to do. Change in direction. Change in direction right here as well. So... I feel like if you're ha having any struggles or you're trying to do something like start a business or, um, you know, get a new job or start a relationship, I feel like this is all saying, you know, something easier. Um, but this is a wish and getting having a victory as well. For some of you, I feel like if you are in a long distance relationship, I'd be careful this week. Uh, this could represent a long distance relationship. You do have several cards here that could represent separation. I'd say, I feel like if you were in a long distance relationship, I feel like the breakup could have already happened. So again, some of you could have been in a long distance relationship and the breakup already happened. For some of you, I feel like there's still feelings there. So if you are, again, I might only be talking to one of you, but I feel like if you were in that situation, I feel like there are still feelings there. But I feel like the distance is just causing, uh, you know, two people who can't be together. Right here, six hearts. Two people who are soulmates but are kind of like star-crossed lovers. Can't be together for whatever reason. But for others, you know, just a wish. So I feel like there are wishes coming in for you this week. Next, three of spades. So again, I feel like some of you have recently gone through a breakup, of course. For others, I feel like this is just saying watch your health at this time. Uh, I feel like you need more activity as well uh, is what I'm getting. So again, if you're having health issues, I feel like activity or being more active will kind of uh, help you with those health issues very quickly. So I feel like it's activity or movement that you need here. I feel I feel like I say movement to you all the time. Uh, even in the daily readings, it's like movement. You, you always get like the, you know, uh, Knight of Swords in your daily readings or you always get like the Eight of Wands as well comes up for you every once in a while. These are cards of like needing movement. So I feel like movement will be the biggest help for you. Uh, next, you show up. This is you uh, showing up here. So it puts you in a position of power and strength for the week. But it's also a card called the crossroads. It says you are at a crossroads trying to make two decisions or, you know, trying to make some choices. Some of you might have more than two decisions. You might have a bunch. You know, you might be trying to decide between a lot of different things. This card here just says pick the new choices, pick the new path, and that will lead to the most success. Uh, for others, like I said, I keep getting this message about just looking at all these cards here. I feel like that there could be easier uh, ways of doing things here in the card. So if you're doing something, I feel like you could be doing the hard way. I feel like there could be an easier way. Um, so I would be looking at other solutions for whatever it is that you're working on, whether it's a work project, a business project. A relationship, whatever. I feel like this information could come in through experts as well. So again, uh, you know, I feel like just watching YouTube videos, watching people who know more than you about whatever it is that you're dealing with. I feel like it could be that simple. Reading a book, pretty much anything. That's a card of experts, mentors. Um, you know, it's just a card of knowledge. So uh, I feel like that could be the biggest help for you. Uh, next, you have the six arts again. Star Cross Lovers uh, is immediately what I got. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you were with somebody if you recently got out of a relationship, or you could be with somebody now where it's like, you know, it seems like the universe is keeping you two apart. So I feel like some of you are dealing with that, and I feel like some of you will move on from that as well if you haven't already. So I feel like you could be moving on from a relationship like that. For others, I love this card. It's just a turnaround. I feel like with whatever you are dealing with here, whatever, you know, whatever blocks you are bumping up against, I feel this card is a card of blocks lifting. It's a card of things getting easier, being able to to make progress towards your goals, being able to make progress towards the things that you want in life. So I feel like there's a lot of growth and abundance here for you and a lot of success as well. Uh, next, like I said on this card, knowledge. This is a card of needing to go looking for answers and needing to dig. It's like a card of the detective. You know, Pluto and Saturn and Capricorn, 
the, the detective. That's what that is, right there. So we need to be, I've been saying it for like all year, since Saturn went into Capricorn. It's like we need to be like detectives at this time. We need to do, dig around and really search for answers in whatever it is that we're dealing with. It's like the more information we uncover, the more successful we will be. Yes, look, four, four clubs, the card of information. So this is a card of learning as well. It's also a card that says your thoughts are in line with the truth. So whatever you are thinking about learning, I think will be very beneficial for you. And finally, you have the Five of Diamonds. So this is a card of sales. A lot of people get in this card this week. So I would say if you're selling anything, um, then this is a really good card for you. If you're selling a home or anything like that, really good card. If you're thinking about doing anything, you always get this card. Now that I think about it, this is the Just Do It card. So Taurus. Anything that you're thinking about doing, I'd say just do it uh, because I feel like it'll lead to a lot of success. This is also a great card for selling yourself. So if you are like trying to get a job or, um, you know, trying to put yourself, your business out there in some way, this card says make sure to put like all the information out there. Make sure to truly sell yourself and, you know, don't hold things back is what I'd say there. Uh, but Taurus looks like a really good week. I feel like just ease. I feel like there are like easier answers coming in for you this week. And that, but I just feel like you have to do the research to find them. But other than that, it looks really good. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.